only days from the election, one of the main questions that has been asked about train wreck team Trump, who continues to tear down America and Americans, is why doesn't it have any effect on voters? Well, in this breaking story, you don't want to miss the fact that, hmm, maybe the chickens are finally coming home to roost. Because maybe, just maybe, people are sick to death of the BS about Project 25 and what it will be, about all the lies related to health care and the non-actions, and also the constant offending of voter blocks. In this breaking story, we have clear, clean information to you with regards to that question of when, how, why is it not having an effect on this election or the results? Well, like we say, Data talks, BS walks. And remember, Trump did this to himself, along with all of the people surrounding him, including Speaker of the House Mike Johnson. Take a look at these couple of things that support this breaking story I'm about to show you. Check it out. This guy is former head of the Office of Management and Budget. He was the guy who chaired the committee on writing the Republican platform, served under Trump, has told undercover reporters not concerned with Trump distancing himself from uh, the brand Project 2025 because they don't care about the brand. They care about the plan. Let's be clear. It's funny because that comedian's racist comment about Puerto Rico wasn't even in the top five most racist things said on stage that day. You can safely put the watermelon joke above that. You can safely put the joke about Kamala Harris being Mongolian that Tucker Carlson made above that. And there are many other racist jokes, but let's jump in to Donald Trump's clip. Take a look. In anything like what happened the other night, politicians that have been doing this for a long time, 30 and 40 years, said there's never been an event so beautiful. It was like a love fest, an absolute love fest, and it was my honor to be involved. And, well, in 1939, the Nazis used Madison Square Garden. Well... It was an absolute love fest unless you are an immigrant, unless you are a Muslim, unless you are a Jewish person, especially unless you are a black person. I could go down the list, especially if you are a Puerto Rican, I mean, or a Latino in America, you can go down the list, but it was offensive to everybody except maybe straight white males, which was the target audience. Speaker Mike Johnson, if he retains the speakership, when you hear Mike Johnson say what he's going to say, what is he talking about when he talks about getting rid of regulations go there's a lot of talk i mean health care reform is going to be a big part of the agenda when i say we're going to have a very aggressive first hundred days agenda we got a lot of things on the table but health care that's part it's the secret <laughs> yeah our health care plans are a secret ha ha well guess what mr johnson and donald trump People might get a little tired because if you didn't realize it, in this election, nearly 50% of the votes that are going to be cast are going to be cast early. And some of that data is starting to trickle in and trickle out. And in this breaking story right now, check out some of what that is telling us because Team Trump is totally freaking out. Red alert for Donald Trump. Donald Trump and his campaign are suddenly panicking about early voter data, realizing they were celebrating far too early, and now it is pandemonium at Trump HQ as they are starting to see the election slip away. With every single day, we receive more positive early voting data for Vice President Kamala Harris. Here's the big story right now from Puck. Inside Mar-a-Lago, Pennsylvania anxiety, Chief of Staff Games, and Czar RFK Jr. The Trump campaign campaign has paused its premature celebration and fallen into sweat mode as early voting numbers indicate more women are turning up than men in must-win Pennsylvania. Here is some of the early voting data in swing states by gender, and this is what is causing the Trump campaign right now to panic. We see in Arizona women at 52% of the votes, men 46%. In Nevada, women 50%, men 48%. In Pennsylvania, women, 56%, men, 44%. In Georgia, 56% women, 44% men. In North Carolina, women, 55%, men, 45%. In Michigan, 55% women, 45% men. And in Wisconsin, 55% women, 45% men. But that's not all. 
Democratic enthusiasm throughout the country is surging. Not only is it surging, it is higher right now than it was in 2008 when Barack Obama was the nominee. Wow, wow, wow. And it is 10 points higher than the GOP. 77% of registered Democrats say that they are enthusiastic about the election compared to 67% for Republicans. That is actual information. But in no way, as Obama said, don't boo, vote. Don't rest on our laurels, folks. That's just some solid insight only days away from the election. Vote Harris Walls. Share this. Tell all your friends. Get out there. We have to get this done. Let's go.